Dear students, welcome to Metrology Lab for the course ME three two six. We are going to perform a first experiment for the Metrology Lab. The first experiment has a taper measurement using sine bar, level protector, and sine bar uh, combination set. So for the first experiment, we need equipment like sine bar. This is sine bar. Here, it has a bar with roller to roller. This roller center to roller center distance is 150. In market, you have different length, 200, 300 like that. But in our case, we have a 150 mm roller length sign bar. And after this, we are using this dial indicator for this first experiment. This is dial indicator with a small small division graduation this is a needle indicator and this is plunger this is spring loaded plunger type dial indicator with gear mechanism so if you press here this needle will deflect if you press 1 mm here then this needle will round complete this 100 divisions it will complete this 1 mm by 100 is uh, 0 0.01 is the is least common of this dial indicator. And after this, we are using this uh, slip gauge set. Sizes are standard ranging from 0.5 mm to 100 mm. Different sizes given in graduation 1.001, 1 1.02, 1 10, 15, like this, up to, up to 100 mm. And this first experiment, we have uh, this uh, um, combination set. This is combination to measure the angle. And this is bevel protector. It's also used for measurement. It has a vernier scale and a main scale also. So now come first. We, we are taking for the first experiment to uh, specimen. These two specimens have a different taper angle. This is a taper angle. So we have to find out this taper angle using the sign bar. Now come for the procedure. For the procedure, you have to place here like this. And this sign bar head you have to raise so that this surface of the specimen become perfect horizontal with respect to surface flat. So the raising amount you have to to know the raising amount you have to insert here different sizes of slip gas like this. Suppose I'm inserting this and now you have to say this is perfect horizontal or not with the help of dial indicator. So I'm placing here dial indicator. Now you just play over the surface. Now it is this dial indicator is rotating. That means there is inclination is still there. So to make horizontal just by seeing the indicator rotation, you just add now. Again, place over here here and move like this. Now I go to minimum deflection. Suppose in my case is 12 divisions. 12 divisions means 12 into 0 0.01 deflection is there still. Like this way, this also you can measure this taper angle. Now you got the uh, height here. Height is uh, uh, slip gas height and this uh, hypotenuse. Now sine theta, this angle represents this, this taper angle. So by calculating the sine theta, uh, height by hypotenuse, hypotenuse is 150 mm, height by 150 mm, then it represents uh, theta is equal to sine inverse, you will get the values. Like this way, you can calculate by making the original surface with the help of this like the side. And now, this is a uh, Combination already I have told. This is directly 
put here and see the graduations. The main mark is there and this is skill graduation. Earlier what is it was 90, it was 90 and after this it shows the reading, it did that means 10 degree directly. And likewise this also you can measure this. So I will measure now. This is also showing 10 degree here. And now come for this bevel protector. So bevel protector also you can see like this uh, vernier scale and main scale is there. Upo, uh, upper is main scale, lower is vernier scale. Vernier in vernier is 0 to 30, 30 to 60. 0 to 30 is the 6 divisions. That means 30 by 6 is 5, 5 minutes is list count. So to measure here, you just open it to make the angle here and place like this. Now it can 10 degree. Suppose in main scale and Warner scale coinciding in 7, 7 means 7 into 5, 35 minutes. 10 degree, 35 minutes I have got now. Like this way, you can measure this paper angle of this block. So now the experiment 1 is over. Thank you.